definitely been an incredible service. Come on. Ron, I was definitely encouraged. And it was definitely a lot of the things that um, God was um, putting on my heart. It was just interesting. We talked about Jeremiah 29, 11, and I know the plans are happening. And I've shared with you guys many times. And I apologize sometimes being up here, sometimes crying, because sometimes it's the first time I'm actually processing feelings in 25 years. And the reason why I always bring this up with contribution as for some of the things that's gone through my life is to understand what it is we're really given to. Right. You know, I've shared in the past that I've gone through foster care, and one of the biggest desires I've always had is to be with my mom, to be with my dad. And growing up, I actually never seen them together, ever. I met my father physically the first time when I was, what, that I can remember, when I was 17. And my mom, I would see her off and on when she would come to the age show and have visits. And I remember, you know, praying about that, then being mad at God, crying about it, or trying to forget about it. And you know, my wife, you know, her mom grew up in Sierra Leone. And with things over there can be a little bit tough. And I remember, you know, when speaking to her mom and she was telling us the stories about her working multiple jobs, staying up overnight, sleeping on the desk like they're saving up money to come to America. Wow. And but you don't really have a guaranteed way of getting it. The lottery is exactly that, the lottery. So a lot of them what they do is they'll save up their money and they get here and just got figured out. Right. There is no plan, there's no one here waiting for you. It's I'm here, I'm gonna figure it out. And we just think about it, should tell us that, you know, you think, you know, working on here, but working hard over there is a little bit different. You're making less money. Even the plane ticket's expensive. Right. And then you get it, you don't have anything. Right. Come on. And, you know, I think of all of those times growing up, wanting a mother, a father, but I never got to realize what God was giving me. Okay. This is a little bit emotional because I thought about this today. I got married June 10, 2000 to my beautiful wife. Wow, it's so simple when I think I never realized that God's plan was in motion for so long. At my wedding was my physical father, my mother, they danced together, my adoptive dad was there, the foster mother who I'm close to now was all there. And they all danced together. Come on. I still have the videos and I've never seen my mom so live and happy. I used to struggle even sometimes when I would see it because I would see the guilt on her and it was always hard for me to communicate, I'm not mad at you. But the guilt would always make it so hard because then it would just bring things up that I couldn't handle. But that was the first time I seen my mom enjoy herself the entire time we had the videos. I never seen my mom dance like that. And my aunt told me that was the old Linda when she grew up. And to see the joy there. And I looked at that. But now I go back and I remember when I was seven years old, six years old, being upset and crying. While I was praying for it, Vina Dory was working two jobs to get here for the day when I was going to see my mother, my father, my foster, my adopted mother, and have the reunion that I always wanted. It was starting while I was praying. See, growing up in a, with my life with a broken family being detached, reunion was all about. And when I'm looking at what is God doing here, God is trying to reunite his family. Yeah. This is about reunions. I went up my whole life wanting that, and it happened, but I didn't even appreciate and understand that that's what was actually happening. I remember her mom joked to me, he says, you need to thank me, and she was over here. But I never understood that I really did, because God was answering in prayer, and answering my prayer. And Everything that we have, and I look at Josiah getting baptized. Oh, yeah. Even some of the tough relationships. My sister sang at my wedding. 
My younger brother was the ring bearer. I had what I wanted and God was answering prayer. I just didn't know it was coming. And she didn't know the work that she was doing was going to bring such joy for us. The work that you're doing is uniting God's family. And what I have here is, I spoke to the, to the brothers, I wanted you to hear from them as to what's happening with your... Uh,